downsides of LCD TVs, or is it caused by bad manufacturing and only some TVs have it? Do we even know what causes it? I have a Vizio and it definitely has some banding. You can barely see the bands on a stable image, but when you're viewing something that is mostly one solid color and the camera is panning, the banding sticks out. Chris in Illinois. Banding, what exactly is banding? Uh, is a uniformity problem. Mm -hmm. Screen uniformity issue is really what it is. It's essentially if you put up a solid image, usually like a, a nice gray tone is where these are usually mm -hmm. easiest to see, you will see either distinct dark areas that can be vertical or horizontal, and uh, it can be one or multiple lines that I've seen this so for So we're not years talking about now. like the halo you find in the, in the encoding around some objects and Oh some no, videos. this is not a compression okay. artifact. It has nothing to do with the video source. Mm -hmm. Some things, some types of video, it is easier to see in. As pointed out, in a static image, it's fairly hard to notice, but when the camera starts to pan, particularly vertically or horizontally, especially with a, a semi-solid background or a nice smooth gradient like sky or sunset shots, you will see those artifacts, the TV itself with the artifacts appearing, and it, oh. it can be quite the annoying. And the f a number three years ago, I picked up an LCD TV for myself. Mm -hmm. The first one I got had that issue, and it drove me nuts enough to return it and get another model, and it came back. And it still had the issue, but it was far decreased, and I was pretty happy with that. Is it a manufacturing issue? Is it a sort of a, a design engineering? How is it a function of like, is it an accident in manufacturing, or is it sort of it's something that is increased or decreased based on how the engineering is inside the screen. A little bit of both. It uh -huh. is. I find that with LCD panels, uniformity of the picture, creating a backlight, you know, the light behind the screen that's pushed through, and to create a uniform at where every pixel is the same brightness, that is generally a pretty difficult thing to do with LCD panels. And the best ones they really do stand out, and it's something I really kind of look for nowadays. The causes or, or the results of this problem could be several items, including the, the uneven backlighting, which nowadays, uh, especially with edge lit systems, that's a, that's that makes it even more hard when you have mm -hmm. lights coming in from the sides and you're trying to get the whole screen to light up evenly. So one of the worst causes of banding would basically be like one strip of LEDs that was brighter or dimmer than the rest of them. Could be. Okay. Although with the LEDs that are direct lit, like you're talking about, they tend to bend those pretty carefully, mm -hmm. and they can be corrected. Also, there are enhancement filters that go on, the brightness enhancement filters in particular, that go on the surface of these panels, and if they aren't applied evenly, uh, or, or other filters within that layering system that goes all the way back to the backlight, those can also develop those bands as well. They used to talk about like Monday and, and Friday cars. Like you didn't want a car that was built on Monday and Friday. So you, do you not want an ACTV that was built on Monday or Friday? I will say in all my we used to use a device that would take a snapshot. When we do testing of TVs, we'd use a full screen imager where it would look at the whole display. Mm -hmm. We'd take about uh, 10 to 20,000 data points and look at uniformity that way. It's like measure the luminance of every one of those points, mm -hmm. average it out, and some of the best LCDs we saw could hit about 90%. And some of the worst, of course, were just like, wow, okay, it's a little bit brighter here. Some of the worst were honestly the very first edge lit displays right. where the edges were really bright, but the middle <laughs> was really dim, and you're like, oh, this is just ridiculous. But uh, the bad news is there's really no way to fix it. But as you pointed out, it isn't noticeable, not that noticeable anyway, in static pictures. Now, it is easy to check your TV for this kind of thing with a free tool like tvblink.com. They have a free benchmark you can download. Burn it to a DVD. It's an ISO file. It's really easy to do. Mm -hmm. Don't even need software, I think, on most Windows boxes to do that. Or any, anyway, you know how to make that. Put that in and run the screen uniformity test. It happens to be a blue sky with clouds that scroll horizontally and vertically. And you just look for the thing that's not moving on the picture, and it will be the banding, if it's there at all. So basically, download that, burn the disk, search for how to burn an ISO. If you, if you really want to anger it. yourself about what you purchased, and you how about how about, <laughs> how about you, only only if you're in like the you know the return period. If you've just bought an ACTV, you're in the return period. Download that, run it, and you can look for. for <laughs> You might help yourself issues. out if you want to make yourself feel a little better. Just increase the overall, increase the backlight intensity and make it a little bit brighter so your eyes are a little less sensitive to the, the darker patches, but they're still there. And <laughs> it's not really going to fix anything, but, you know. I, I would be, it's hard to do that before you buy it, unless you're in the store and you can actually open that TV up. But mm -hmm. usually if one model has it, that particular series is probably affected. Got it. It's something, it's like... Oh, so it's, don't exchange it for another model of the same thing. Try a different model. I did, and it did brand. help. I had one that okay. I thought was a little peculiar, and then it ended up stepping me up into... I looked, checked the serial numbers. Mm -hmm. It did come back significantly ahead, and it was definitely better than it was before. But that's a tough one, and that's one that really... After seeing... You won't see this on a plasma display, by the way. Plasmas are extremely uniform in general, unless there's some defect there, but mm -hmm. they don't have this issue that we're talking about. This is strictly for LCDs, and it can affect any kind, be it fluorescent backlit or LED lit. doesn't really matter. And um, 
again, it's just one of those things that's hard to check before you actually buy something like that. I would hope that they would have had that fixed a long time ago, but that seems to be one of those ongoing issues with LCD panels. Ken writes in, I've got a 42-inch Panasonic Plasma HDTV S2C 